Hey folks, David Tao with Barbin.com, and today we're talking about another member of Team USA in weightlifting at the Tokyo Olympics, and that's Maddie Rogers. She's been highly competitive for a number of years in weightlifting, and she just missed out on the Rio Olympic team by the narrowest of margins. So we're gonna recap a little bit of her journey to Tokyo, as well as some career highlights, and whether or not she has a chance to medal at the games. But before we do that, make sure to check out barbend.com for all things weightlifting at the Tokyo Olympics. You can Google barbend plus weightlifting, barbend plus Olympic weightlifting, barbend plus a particular body weight category, plus weightlifting or plus the Olympics. And our results session by session will come up probably at the top of Google. It'll be really easy to find. We have you covered. Let's just do a high level summary here. Maddie Rogers is a hugely popular American weightlifter and this isn't her first dance with potential Olympic glory. She just missed out on qualification for the Rio Olympics. Uh, she actually missed a 141 kilogram clean and jerk at Olympic trials, which at the time was I think eight kilos above her PR. And if she had made that lift at Olympic trials back in 2016, she would have made the Olympic team. She ended up going to Rio as an alternate. She did not compete. And she's been pretty candid about how that missed lift was just out of her capabilities that day. Now there has been a body weight class restructuring in weightlifting since the Rio Olympics. In 2016, Rogers was known to compete at 69 kilograms. That's no longer a body weight category. She's actually gone up several body weight categories and that's for a few reasons. One, that's something that's fairly common among young weightlifters, but it actually increased her chances at qualifying for the Tokyo Olympics. Now she's most recently competed as an 81 kilogram lifter. It's something we've seen her do uh, multiple times over the past couple of years, but 81 kilograms is not an Olympic body weight category. Remember all the body weight categories in weightlifting are not all Olympic body weight categories. So she'll be competing up from 81 as an 87 kilogram lifter, probably competing as one of the lighter 87 kilogram lifters, but that'll be her session. Let's talk about a few career highlights here for Rogers. She's 25 years old, originally from Florida. She's a two-time IWF World Championships silver medalist. She's the 2020 Pan American champion, and that's after finishing in silver medal position four times in a row at that competition. She's a world university champion and she holds a slew of American records. Most recently, she set three American records at the 2021 USA Weightlifting National Competition in Detroit. She snatched 112 kilos, she clean and jerked 143 kilos, and she totaled 255 kilos. That was as an 81 kilogram lifter. And I was able to see that session live in Detroit. It was absolutely electric, uh, fantastic performance for her there. So she looks extremely strong and pretty much in peak position heading into Tokyo and she won't have to cut weight. She'll actually go up in weight to compete in Tokyo. So one interesting thing about this year's 87 kilogram weight class at the Olympic games is that it's kind of tough to make predictions. Rogers specifically has more often competed at 81 kilograms and a lot of lifters have been shifting around body weight categories in the qualification period. So this is a really tough session to predict. We don't necessarily know what kind of shape everyone's gonna show up in because a lot of these lifters have competed at different body weight categories, some lower. So we're not sure what that extra body weight's gonna do for them and how much it's going to give them an advantage. All that to say, Rogers does have a legitimate shot at meddling in Tokyo. It's far from guaranteed. She has to show up and perform well, but she's hitting PR lifts a month before, actually less than a month before the Tokyo Olympics. She's in fantastic shape. If she can bring her A game, and depending on how her competitors do on the day, she has a legitimate shot to medal in Tokyo. That much I can say. There you have it folks, Maddie Rogers is certainly one of the most accomplished American weightlifters of the last several decades, and I'm really excited to see her make her Olympic debut. For more on all things weightlifting, make sure you tune into barbend.com. I'm David Tao.